What's going on everybody and welcome back to the St. Thomas Dynasty here on NCAA 14. This is your boy John Jay Gaming on the mic and today we are here to take on UConn. They're 1 and 3 on the season whereas we're 4 and 0 oh, and we even got 8 prospects coming in. A lot of high profile recruits as well. So I'm super excited about this game. Another thing that I'm super excited about as well, though, is that we have a couple of custom recruits joining the squad officially. So let's go ahead and take a look at these custom recruits. At running back, we have Vonnie Williams coming out of Apple Valley, Minnesota. He is redshirting for this season, but he can definitely be a contributor later on down the road for sure. And then the other custom recruit that's joining the squad is Pablo Sanchez, who is replacing Tristan Singleton. A solid dude caught, you know, caught what, the game's tying touchdown, I believe. You know, so that's really cool to see. And uh, he has a lot less drop passes, but yeah, these are the two custom recruits that are now joining the squad. With all that being said though, if you really do enjoy the content here on this channel, man, I encourage you to smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you have to be new. Let's go ahead and get this game in against Connecticut Huskies and see if we can go 5-0 here in Season 8. Let's get it. So it looks like UConn is one of those teams that likes to go no huddle. That's going to be really interesting for sure. As a second and seven, Williams is actually going to take it outward. Jared Scott can't bring him down, but fuck, finally, Jesus Shuttleworth is able to come over and make the tackle. A couple of plays later, we get him to a third and 13, actually, so it'd be nice if we can actually get him off the field. However, that might not be so easy as he throws a perfect pass over to David Martin, as Jim Smith had really good coverage, but it's just really hard to beat a perfect throw. That's just honestly what it was. As Peters will throw once again to the left-hand side, who immediately just shoves Corey Johnson to the side. Took our guy off for quite a bit of a ride. As now, first and ten. Peters dropping back. Going to try to throw towards the end zone, but it's incomplete. As the ball was actually dropped, a golden opportunity for UConn to take an early lead. As now, second and ten. Going to try to throw over Jim Smith, and that's also incomplete. Because the pass was dropped. This quarterback certainly has some arm talent. But the receivers aren't necessarily making plays for him. So we'll go ahead and do a draw on third and ten. Which nearly works as they pick up the first down. But they will settle for a field goal. As it's only a three to nothing ball game. So now here comes this Tom. He's taking the field for the first time today on offense. Going to be a handoff to Lucas Coley. Who just rumbles and bumbles for a gain of ten. For his very first carry of the day. So we might go to him again. Read option. Coley up the middle. He's got plenty of space. He's going to be brought down across midfield. A gain of 20 yards on that play. Lucas Coley man already with 30 yards total so far. Let's see if we can keep that energy going as we try to throw deep. But guess his were thrown so it's incomplete. Next play, Noah Brooks in the shotgun, going to drop back to pass. Going to throw short to Adrian Allen, who um, actually breaks a tackle and does pick up the first down. Gain of 10 yards, way to recognize the blitz and throw short as a result of that. As now, first and 10, Brooks going to Alex Garcia. He almost gets to the first down marker himself. Going to be just a yard shy. Shouldn't be any problem for us because we got a pretty solid offense here at St. Thomas. Just need one more yard. Let's see if we'll go to Lucas Coley. We will. Read option. Another broken tackle. It usually takes more than one person to bring down Lucas Coley. This man is a monster truck. As now, Brooks going to the end zone. Finds Adrian Allen. Touchdown, Tommies. As we'll seize the lead right back from the Huskies of the University of Connecticut. St. Thomas will take a four-point lead midway through his first quarter. As now the Huskies are back on the field for offense. It's going to be a play action for Peters. Going to try to throw over the middle. Finds his receiver and Thomas Williams a gain of 15 yards on the play. 
Next play, Peters in shotgun once again. Gonna Looks like he's thinking about throwing it deep, but he gets wrapped up for a sack. The ball is also fumbled, but we couldn't fall on it. One of the hog mollies for UConn falls on the ball. A missed opportunity to, to get a turnover, so going to have to... You know, try again, play normal defense here. See if we can force them, you know, to punt this ball away. Would be really nice to see. As now, third and five. Peters in the shotgun, dropping back, looking, going to find Singleton over the middle. Not related to Tristan Singleton whatsoever, but it's a gain of 12 yards. As now, first and ten. Peters dropping back, going to throw to the left-hand side. Another short pass. That nearly goes for another first down once again. They're not really killing us deep, but they are doing the death by a thousand cuts approach. Which is really annoying if you really think about it as it's nearly caught on the dive. Corey Johnson was there on the coverage. Really good coverage, actually. Again, this quarterback just has some fantastic arm talent. As I'll go to Williams on the left-hand side for the third and two. Easily picks up the third down. Jared Scott has to come in and make the tackle. So now, first and ten, UConn looking to reestablish the lead. Going to be a handoff to Williams, who just tears apart Jim Smith. Almost gets into the end zone if it wasn't for, looks like DJ Watson going up in there and getting that shoestring tackle. But it'll be finished up on the next play as Corey Johnson can wrap him up. Aaron Williams gets to the end zone for the Huskies, and they have the lead right back once again. So here we go. Let's see how we respond here. Can we get another touchdown on the board? Noah Brooks is going to send Jamie Smith in the motion. It's going to be a handoff to Lucas Coley, who's able to get to the outside and pick up nine yards on that one. That looked like it was going to be stopped out cold. But Lucas Coley, man, able to make something out of nothing. You love to see it. So we'll go play action here on the second and one. We go to Adrian Allen, who makes the catch. Another gain of 11 yards going to the tight end early and often. You love it. Couple plays later. Second and six. Brooks going to the slant route to find Isaiah Thomas, who fights forward for that first down. That's how this first quarter is going to wrap up. UConn off to a pretty good start. They have a three point lead going into the end of this first quarter. But let's see if we can take the lead back on this drive, though. Lucas Coley will take the carry and pick up five more yards, continuing to fall forward. He does that on every single carry. That's what I love so much about this guy. As we got a third and one here, let's see if we can pick up this last yard needed for this first down, and we easily do. Noah Brooks finds a hole with relative ease, actually. First carry of the game for him goes for a gain of nine. It's now first and ten. Brooks going to try to throw over the middle, and it's intercepted. By the defensive backcourt of UConn. And that is a terrible interception. To be fair, he didn't really see Bobby Mitchell. I think he was covering Isaiah Thomas originally. Just a really good play on the ball. As we're lucky that they do go free and out. So we have another crack at taking the lead back. This time we'll go to the ground to start this drive. Going to Lucas Coley who picks up another 11 yards on the play. Another first down. Going to Lucas early and often, man. Already with eight carries. About to be nine here as Coley nearly picks up another first down. A gain of eight that time around. A great run for the star running back. So now, second and two. Read option on the way. Going to Lucas Coley again. Going to fight for it for the first down. A gain of five. Not going down before shoving a defender into the ground. Taking somebody on a ride. Glad we're, all, we're doing that to him. As we fumble the ball in the next play, Chance Anobi does find, does fall on the ball for us, thankfully. But now we have a third and long coming up here, man. We're going to just try to send it deep or at least, you know, get some yards here to get in the field goal range. But a promising drive ends up stalling as a result of a fumble. So now we do, thankfully, kick it a, kick a deep. Third and 17 coming up here. We get a safety on the next play. Doug Peters doesn't realize where he was. So St. Thomas actually gets the safety on the play and we get the ball. Let's freaking go. 
only down by one point. Let's see if we can make this take the lead right back. Third time is a charm, am I right? As now, first and ten. Brooks dropping back, gonna throw short to Tyreek Miller, who's able to pick up a few yards. Had to stop momentum completely in order to stay in bounds to try to pick up a few extra yards. So it works okay. As now, second and five. Adrian Allen is all by himself. He only has one more man to beat. He hits the step back cheese and is brought down inside the 10 yard line. Adrian Allen just gets wide open. Nobody accounted for him. If he had a little bit more speed, it would have been a touchdown. As we'll try to reward the man as Allen tries to get into the end zone. But it's shoved into the ground, a gain of six. As we'll finish it off with a touchdown for Alex Garcia. Touchdown, Tommies. As we take the lead back from the Huskies, making this a one possession game, a six point lead for St. Thomas. That's what we're going to finish with going to the locker room. St. Thomas with a 16 to 10 lead. Second half coming very shortly. Welcome back, boys, to the second half of this ball game. We'll start off with a play action as Brooks is going to throw short to Jamie Smith, who's able to bounce to the outside, get a block as well. A gain of 18 yards on the play. Nice way to start the second half. As now, Lucas Coley, no, it's going to be a fake to Noah Brooks, who's got the space, and he gets tripped from behind. Gets caught from behind by the linebacker, but a gain of 23 yards as well. You love how Noah Brooks at times runs the system with efficiency. As we try to throw to Damian Hudson on the next play. A great throw, actually. Throwing his opposite shoulder. But it's dropped. And now the play doesn't even matter. So now, third and ten. Going to try to send it deep for Tyreek Miller. And it's dropped for an incompletion. Jared Jones is on the coverage. And we had to settle for a field goal there. But what we do end up doing is force a free and out against UConn. Playing pretty well here in the second half. Let's see if we can make this a two-possession game as Isaiah Thomas makes the catch for the first down in UConn territory. As now, first and ten. Scrambling around, doesn't see anybody. Going to go ahead and run upfield. All the green grass in the world. And gets himself out of bounds on the verge of the red zone. Let's see if we can make it two scores in a row as Brooks picking up five yards off the read option. Five-yard gain. Let's get it. Next play, second and five coming up here. Let's see if we can get Adrian Allen. Yes, we do as he gets us across the 10-yard line. Another first and goal coming up for this Tommy's offense. Off to a really nice start here in the second half as we throw to Damon Hudson the third, who tries to fight forward and picks up seven, but does not accompany that with six points, however. As we'll try to punch it in with Lucas Coley. He takes the carry. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Tommies. As Lucas Coley gets into the end zone for the first time today. And look at this. We're also going to go for two. So we can go ahead and make this a free score game. But look at this. Everybody is covered. Try to throw it to Adrian Allen. It's incomplete. But we do get a studio update within the American Conference. Memphis is putting number 17 Cincinnati on upset alert. They currently possess a 24 to 10 lead halfway through. Actually, most of the way through the third quarter. Back to our game, though, with a 15 point lead right now. UConn takes the field. Let's see what they do. Third and seven. Going to throw up the middle. That is so infuriating. Do all this work on first and second down. And then third down, leave somebody wide open over the middle. To walk across to get the first down. So their drive continues because of that. As we go to a couple plays later. Second and five. Williams going to the right hand side. He's got some space. Can anybody catch this man? We finally do. Jesus Soto were finally able to wrap him up. But not for a gain of 25. It's now Peters. Going to try to throw it over to the right hand side. And it were mossed. Anthony Robinson mosses Kevin Carter. That is good coverage. I can't even blame the man. We do force an incompletion on the next play. So we got second and goal coming up here. Peters dropping back to pass. Looking. Going to find Tim Harris over in the middle. But does not get into the end zone. He is stopped by the one yard line monster. So let's see what happens here. Third and goal. It's going to be a run up the middle. 
We had Matt Wade there to make the tackle, but Sean Smith wanted to touchdown just a little bit more as UConn cuts this thing back down to eight points. So let's go. Time to get a response in. First and ten, Brooks going to go ahead and take the read option once again. He picks up the first down by himself, a gain of 11 yards on the play. A first and ten coming up, and you know, if it's not broke, why fix it? Going to Lucas Coley. He's got all the blocks in the world. No one's going to catch this man, and he is gone. 62-yard touchdown run for Lucas Coley. Touchdown, Tommies. As we make this a two-possession game once again. And things are looking good for St. Thomas. Looks like we just might make it to 5-0 and in a new conference. That would be great for our program. But we still have one, at least one more quarter left to play. Got to take care of business, man. As Peters dropping back. Going to throw short to Harris. He's got plenty of room to run, though. And gets it to midfield. As now, second and ten. It's going to be a little bit of a quarterback draw. No one can make a tackle in a timely matter as Zach Bones finally has to come over, clean it up. But get your fours up, man. We're only one quarter away from going 2-0 in our brand new conference. Let's see if we can finish this game off once and for all. So UConn out on the field for this fourth quarter. They need to make something happen here. Third and five. It's a halfback screen for the first time today, and we were completely fooled by it. Smith is down this sideline. Can anybody make the tackle? He's finally brought out of bounds inside the five-yard line, though. No. Oh, that is so disappointing to give up that big of a play as Derek Singleton gets a touchdown on the next play. And with the extra point, no, they're going for two here. That's really interesting. Let's see if they get the two-point conversion. Peters dropping back, and he's brought down. Joel Davis could not outwork Jim Smith. So for now, it still remains a two-possession game, but just be safe. Let's get some more points on the board. That would be really nice. So we'll go over in the middle to Jamie Smith. We're already close to midfield thanks to that 16-yard catch. It's now a couple plays later. Brooks dropping back. Going to go to Jamie Smith over in the middle. He fights forward to nearly the first down marker. Nice little eight-yard gain right there for the fullback turn tight end. He's now third and inches. Brooks looking. Going to Isaiah Thomas. Picks up the first down. Keeps that drive aligned. And the UConn Husky mascot in absolute distress right now. As time is clearly not on their side as we throw an untimely interception to Johnson. We do bring him down quickly, but that's not what we wanted to do. Thought we had Damian Hudson the third over in the middle, but did not see this defensive lineman. What a hog molly able to make an athletic play. So we give the ball right back to UConn, and they do another halfback screen. This time we're a little bit more ready for as we don't let them get the first down. But still a little bit bigger of a game that we wanted to really accept. But it's third and short now. Got to make a stop here. Peters sends Davis into motion. They're going to try to run it up the middle. We're there to meet him, though, as it looks like it's Jim Smith able to get in there and make the tackle. And it comes down to this. Fourth and one. Let's make a play right here, fellas. Peters dropping back. Going to throw a quick slant route as the pass is actually completed for positive yards. So UConn keeps its hopes alive right now, man. It's now third and nine. Peters dropping back, looking around, going to try to send it deep, and it's nearly intercepted. Jared Scott was there on the coverage. That could have essentially ended this ball game. But instead, it's fourth and nine now. Hope relies on Peters, who has the time in the world, and finds an open Willie Garcia who's able to get a foot down, keep this game alive just yet. It's now first and ten, going over the middle to Martin. It's completed, but it's caught inbounds and not a first down, so the clock will continue to run. UConn needs to get some points up in a hurry, whether it's a touchdown or just a field goal, as Peters going to go up the middle, pick up another first down for Willie Garcia. Gain a six. 
So now they're in the red zone. They're looking to make this a one-score game. But look at this. There's a flag on the play. It's false start on the offense. It's going to knock them at back a few yards. So now they have a first and 15 to deal with. So now Peters will drop back. He'll try to throw towards the end zone as Billy Ewing nearly gets the interception. But it doesn't. It's almost his only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, man. It's second and 15 now. Peters will drop back the pass. Going to try to throw over Billy Ewing. Finds Tim Harris for a touchdown. And now it's only a two point game following this extra point. But all we got to do is run this clock out. But we don't want to be completely conservative here. We got to still call some pass plays in there. But if we don't find anybody open, just going to go ahead and scramble. Noah Brooks will slide in order to remain in bounds. As UConn will be forced to take their first time out of the second half. As now, second and one. Brooks finds Isaiah Thomas, who able to get across the first down marker. UConn, again, has to take a second time out. But a couple plays later, we're in danger of giving the ball right back to these guys. If we get this first down, though, this game is over. Going to call a halfback screen so that either way we can run time off the clock as Lucas Coley is just short by a few yards. So we will, again, have to punt this ball away. And we're going to put our faith in the defense here. Let's see if it works out for us. As Jamaro Lewis... Sends this punt deep, and look at this perfect placement inside the five-yard line. That is exactly how you cough and corner a punt. You definitely love to see that, as now UConn has a lot of work to do before they can even think about getting points on the board. So now, 30 seconds. Peters dropping back, going to throw to the right-hand side. Finds Thomas Pierre for a gain of eight yards before going out of bounds. Saving time for now. As now we got a third and one. Peters in the shotgun is definitely going to be a throw. Peters dropping back. Going to try to send it deep. He finds an open Harris up the scene for a gain of 38 yards. And now all of a sudden, UConn is only one first down away from being in field goal range themselves. As they throw it into double coverage, Harris makes that catch. That's for a gain of 27. And now... UConn is in a position to kick this field goal. They're going to take the points right away. And the kick is up, and it is good. UConn, with seven seconds left, takes a one-point lead on the St. Thomas Tommies. And at this point, all we can hope for is send it deep. Hope for the very best, as Noah Brooks will send it, but it's nearly not far enough. It's incomplete anyways, but it's it sucks that we're going to go down like this. And that's how this game is going to end, man. UConn is going to pull a great upset for their program, beating St. Thomas by a final score of 33-32. to What a heartbreaking way to lose our very first game of this entire season here in Season 8. All right, man, so checking out the scoring summary and, you know, just looking at the first three quarters, we did, you know, what we really need to do. We are really taking care of business. And then in that fourth quarter, you know, we, we got way too relaxed. And, you know, 16 unanswered points from a one in three squad. That simply doesn't do it. Not to mention that we lost by one point. This definitely is going to make me feel some type of way for sure. Checking out the stats for our guys today, though. Noah Brooks had a decent game. 22 for 29 for 219, two touchdowns and two picks. Was efficient with his passes, though, I will say that. The running game, though, was also on point today. Lucas Colby had 15 carries, 147 yards, and two touchdowns on the ground. This man was an absolute monster today. Noah Brooks also got some uh, some work in as well. He had nine carries for 65 yards. In the receiving game, we have a you know a surprising person leading us in both yards and catches. Adrian Allen had six catches for 84 yards and a touchdown. His best game of his collegiate career by far. Alex Garcia also got into the end zone today. He had four catches for just 16 yards. On defense, we were anchored by Jim Smith, who had 13 total tackles today. 12 of them were solo and two TFLs. 
a guy that was definitely all over this football field here today. We also got to this quarterback three times today, both, both all of them coming by a you know combination of Antoine Black and Buster Porter. Antoine Black had multiple sacks and also got a safety as well. However, we did not force any turnovers again today. However, with all of the heartbreak on the football field, we do get a little piece of good news. Lee Goolsby will be joining the squad for Season 9, a 70 overall strong safety who can definitely come in and start for us right away if we need that to happen. And then, you know, for a lot of these other guys. So next episode, we're going to try to go and right the ship as we will go on the road to play against Southern Florida. Their B minus across the board where we're C, B minus C. We're, uh, we just took our first loss, but USF, the Southern Florida Bulls, are still looking for their first win of the season. If they don't get it together, they will definitely miss a bowl game. So they're going to play desperate, and we got to be ready for it, man. But hey, if you enjoy the content here on this channel, make sure you smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you're new because that helps me out so much. In the meantime, man, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.